From a corporate actions analyst point of view, this was nothing but the best of news that came in. Reliance and Industries Limited announced a massive corporate actions last week to the shareholders. Let's analyze it. The company held its AGM or the annual general meeting on 30th of August 2024, wherein they accepted the audited annual reports of the company's accounts for the financial year 31st March 2024. Mukesh Ambani, sir, in this AGM, made a significant announcement to the shareholders of Reliance Industries Limited. And this announcement was the reward of giving the existing shareholders a bonus issue. Remember, a bonus issue was announced in the ratio of 1 is to 1. And company, therefore, gives its shareholders a free share in proportion to its existing shareholding. There is no money to be paid by the investor to the issuer. The issuer, if the issuer uh, pays out the bonus shares, there is no cash flow from the investor to the issuer. The first question the analyst will ask, is the bonus issuance a corporate action? Yes, it's a corporate action because it structurally and fundamentally changes the issued and paid up capital of the company even though there may not be much of an accounting impact it has an impact on the way the accounts are presented at the next annual general meeting and therefore a bonus issuance is a corporate action the second question is the corporate action of announcement of a bonus issue is it a voluntary corporate action or a mandatory corporate action it is a mandatory corporate action there is no communication expected from the custodian or the investor to the transfer agent of the company all shareholders are entitled to the bonus on a pro rata basis. Pro rata meaning they will get proportionate allotment. And therefore, the next question that pops up is, what is the entitlement ratio? The entitlement ratio is the ratio of how much benefit you are getting vis-a-vis -vis what is the current holding. Okay, the shareholders therefore will get this bonus on a pro rata basis. If the entitlement ratio is 1 is to 1, the first number the former number one shows what is the benefit the latter number one shows what is the holding of the investor in the case of ril's announcement it is pretty simple because it is one is to one let's take an example if hurry hedge fund owns a hundred thousand shares of kh inc and uh, kh inc has made an announcement of a bonus of uh, one is to four okay uh, the the announcement of bonus is one is to five i'm sorry uh, the bonus issued by KH Inc. I think they are a little more conduced than RIL. That is, if you have five shares, you will get one share. Okay, so five represents the present holding, one represents the bonus. So the end holding will be one plus five, six. So in this case, Hari H Fund is holding 100,000 shares. Will the bonus be? Bonus shares given be 25,000, 100,000 or 20,000. Please give your answers in the comment section below. Gifts and prizes await you for those who give the right answers. Whether it's 25,000 shares bonus, 100,000 bonus shares or 20,000 bonus shares. Is shareholder approval necessary? Yes, the board proposes the shareholder must approve it. Sometimes shareholders might want a better bonus or they might say that don't give bonus, which seems unlikely, but still shareholder approval is necessary at the AGM. The most important dates are the dates of announcing the corporate action because from this date to the record date, there will be a lot of price action on the stock prices at the stock exchanges where the company stock is listed. So the announcement date over here is very important. The next is the record date or the cutoff date, the deadline by which investors have to have the shares in their DMAT accounts or else they would not get the shares. The X date is the date on which the stock is traded without the entitlement on the stock exchanges in the stock market like India, which is a T plus one rolling market cycle, both are the same. And finally, the payment date, the date on which the corporate action entitlement is credited to the investor's account. This is the very important analyst point of view. Pre-bonus, let's say the number of shares held by Hari Hedge Fund is 100,000 and the market price is $400. This means the valuation of the holding is 400 multiplied by a 100,000 shares. The bonus announced is 1 is to 5. The shareholder will receive free additional shares of 20,000. Okay, because they are currently holding 100,000 shares, they will get 20,000 bonus shares. So post bonus, the number of shares that are held will be 100,000 of the existing 
plus 20,000 of the bonus, the market price collapses to 333 because of the oversupply in the market. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, share and subscribe to my video.